This reptilian creature tattoo on his arm is often described as a dragon, and there is also a dragon tattoo on his gunship as well as his machine gun. It's a symbolic element that reflects the militaristic and tough personality of Colonel Miles Scorch. Also, this junior Lyle had the same tattoo on his arm. It really makes sense why Max decided to help them out and join the Sully team, because he was also the one who got very anxious about the lives of the Navi people in the past when he heard about the dozers who'd hit them within three months. Hmm. What else can you tell us about the structure? I'm guessing this secondary ring? That's also low <laughs> And I was hoping for some sort of tactical plan that didn't involve martyrdom. Trudy talked about avoiding martyrdom while going on a mission, but if she decided to stay inside the link unit compartment, the oxygen supply would certainly run out and she would die either way. Even if she decides to surrender herself, she might be punished with lifetime imprisonment or even death. So what's the point of seeing all of that? Even if the compartment had the technology to extract oxygen from the air, the device would certainly run out in the future. Also, what the hell would she eat over there for so long? Death was inevitable for her. Whether it was martyrdom or slow death, it was still going to be a death. And have you seen the small devices both on the neck of Norm and Jake? They seem more like instruments utilized for the avatar program. There's no way it can be a goddamn ornament. Nobody talked much about Trudy and her sacrifice, but she has played one of the biggest roles in the entire movie. If she didn't get Grace and Jake out of the jail, the whole story would start running backwards. Thousands of Navi people would definitely die after that. You chose me for something. I will stand and fight. Exactly when was Jake chosen by Ewa? Remember the first time when the seeds of the sacred trees sat on the avatar of Jake Sully? It was the first physical interaction between the avatar of Jake Sully and the sacred seeds of the Ewa tree. This was the first time when the sacred seeds came up with a message and Jake realized the meaning of the message in the end of the movie. What was that all about? Our great mother does not take sides, she. But Neteria was wrong. In order to protect the great balance of life, you're gonna need to take sides with the right and go against the wrong. Ewa had also done the same thing. She took sides of the Navi people and used the animals against the humans to win the war. Neteria has also realized that thing in the end of the movie. Here we go. If you watch carefully, the first grenade of Jake Sully got sucked into the ventilator of his airship. Because one side was pushing out the air and the other side was pushing in the air. Here's the proof. This man was screaming when the first load was about to hit the second load because he presumed that the loads will now clash and explode the balls out of him. Pull your record, Corporal. Venezuela, that was some mean bush. Venezuela has one of the largest oil reserves as well as significant resources of natural gas, iron, gold, diamonds, copper, zinc, and silver as of now. And I hope you're old enough to know that the USA don't have a past with a good history with many countries filled with natural resources. This is what they have also done with the following countries. They tried to play the same game with Turkey but the prime minister of the country turned out to be a wise ass. Venezuela, by the way, is yet to be full-scale invaded by the USA and this country is also one of the final sources of a vast volume of natural resources. Seems like James Cameron managed to predict the next autocratic movement of the great US government. If you look closely, you will never find a single Navi who is bald-headed. They all have a long hair, and at the tip of that, there are some hairy tendrils encased in a neural whip. These are actually extensions of the nervous system of the Navi people. Most Navi creators have one cue, and some of them have two cues just like the last shadow. So making these people go bald-headed can turn out to be a bloody mess, and maybe even fatality. We today made a kill, and we ate it. At least I know where that meal came from. Why did Jake Sully say that? All the people working for the RDA were given synthetic foods to eat which means artificially made foods and is very unhealthy for a human's body. Now you may argue that these guys were talking about steak in one scene. But it was not a steak. Trudy just lied to distract the man. It was sarcasm. In the starting of the Avatar movie, Jake Sully said, All I ever wanted in my sorry ass life was a single thing worth fighting for. And now, as you can see, he found a new home and a family in Pandora, which is actually worth fighting for. His wish was granted. When Trudy said, Because we're not the only thing flying around out there, or the biggest. She was actually referring to The Last Shadow, which is one and a half times bigger than the Hilo. Here we go. Have you seen the small creatures in the movie? I would like to remind you that these are baby Ikrans. And if you have an intrusive mind just like I do, you may also wonder why these Nabi people don't make a bond with the baby Ikrans. It would be easier this way, right? In order to permanent your bond with your Ikran, at least one flying is going to be needed as soon as the bond is made. But the baby Ikrans are very small to ride on. As you won't be able to fly on a baby Ikran, making the bond is going to be of no use. First flight seals the bond. You cannot wait. <sighs> 
Many Omatakai will die if you do, you are not my brother! In the half of the movie, Suta declined to call Jake Sully his brother, but in the climax of the movie, this guy ended up calling Jake Sully his own brother. It seems like the arrogance of this guy faded to a certain degree. Right there! Ah. Not the only one with a gun, bitch. Why did Trudy not try to kill Miles Scourge with her helicopter? She wanted no fatality? There was no major obstruction in between either. She could easily get a kill that moment. By the way, Trudy not just painted on her face, but also painted her helicopter with almost the same combination of color. When Lyle shot the Ekron, the theory screamed as well even though she was not shot by the bullet. You know why? Because she can also feel what the Ekron feels because of the Sahelu. You're not gonna die if your avatar is dead unlike it happens in the Matrix. because your avatar is only sharing the consciousness from your body, so you will be safe and fine. You see this girl on the picture? Her facial structure seems a lot like Nitiri. She was also holding the girl in such a loving way. And Dr. Gray said in the past, Nitiri had a sister shot dead in the hands of the Marine Corps. They killed Sawanan in the doorway, right in front of Nitiri. So there's a higher possibility that she was the younger sister of Natiri. When Dr. Grace and the team shifted themselves to the Hallelujah Mountain, the avatar bodies of Grace and Jake were also inside the helicopter. Now the question is how the fuck or not did they manage to climb down to the main village? First of all, Jake Sully was very good at mountain climbing, but Dr. Grace was never seen to be performing such daring activities. If you take a look at this recording, you will find out in the background that Trudy was also living inside the link unit. And if Trudy was over there, the helicopter must be there too. If the helicopter was over there, Dr. Grace and Jake also went down to the main village in a helicopter as well. If you take a closer look, you can find out the logo of Mitsubishi on this AMP suit. Was that a sponsorship deal? I have scrutinized every scene of Sute and I have discovered something. The right hearing organ of Sute was missing a very small portion. It seems more like this missing part of his ear was eaten up by someone in the jungle. You see the thumb on the chest of Nitiri? This thumb had five fingers and that means the thumb was of Jake Sully. I made a small mistake in the second part of this video, so let me explain the right answer. This girl over there on the picture was actually this girl whom I confused with another one. What can I do? All of these people look the same like the Chinese Ching Chong. <laughs>